It's been almost five years since the provincial government declared the overdose crisis a public health emergency, and since then, things have only gotten worse. Statistics from BC Emergency Health Services show that the number of emergency calls in response to an overdose has increased significantly since 2016 in many northwest cities. Terra saw 38 overdose emergency calls in 2016. That number rose to 98 by 2019, and in 2020, it was 208. Michelle Demo is the homeless prevention worker at the Cassan Society in Terrace. She says that methamphetamine use in the city has increased significantly in the past few years, and that the drug supply is tainted. It's not really so much the methamphetamine, it's just all the toxic stuff that they're putting in it. Lots of um, fentanyl is in there. And as of January 18th, Northern Health just put out that bulletin with the benzodiazepines in our drug supply. And I believe that around that week, we did have uh, quite a large amount of overdoses within a small period of time frame, and we did lose quite a lot of people to overdose. Demo also made note of the lack of services in the region that could help people who use drugs, such as a safe consumption site where overdoses could be reversed, or a detox center where someone could receive medical support for withdrawal symptoms before moving into recovery. April Link from the North Coast Transition Society in Prince Rupert also noted the lack of a detox center in Northwest BC. She said that the nearest one is all the way in Prince George. When somebody is is ready for that kind of service, it it's something that they're ready for then, like at that time. And if we can't make that available to them, those moments pass. The pandemic has exacerbated the overdose crisis as well. Harm reduction nursing lead for Northern Health, Nancy Dollawal, said that COVID-19 has not only made it more difficult for people who use drugs to access support programs, but it has also created more stress, which has led some to cope with substances. So there's a lot of anxiety around around COVID, and if, if you're already, you know, having difficulties coping coping in life and, and struggling with substance use, then um, this, you know, COVID and all that it brings just kind of compounds that. Dollawal said Northern Health has been doing a good job with distributing naloxone, which reverses the effects of an overdose. However, Demo fears that the current state of the crisis has become the new normal. Some people, when you ask them how many times have you overdosed now, they've lost count of how many times they have overdosed. It's almost as if it's almost becoming normalized. For CFTK-TV News, I'm Joshua Azizi.